What's up guys, welcome back. This week we got a lot done. Built the uh, Roadrunner chassis, got that all finished welded together. Did the motor mounts and trans mount in that. Ended up going camping last weekend, so took a little break and then uh, got back on Monday and finished the chassis out, just welding all the bracketry and everything. So let's check out what we did. <laughs> Doing good so far, getting a bunch of tubes cut out. That's where we're at right now. Some of the ones that get bent. There's only a handful of tubes in this chassis that get bent. I think it's like seven in total, so mostly straight tubes. Um, so I'm just jamming away, getting this cut out, and then we'll start assembling after that. <laughs> Yesterday I got the chassis all finished welded out so now I'm gonna mock up the motor transmission transfer case and all that and then so once I get the motor in there then I'm gonna do some kind of substructure off the front and mount the motor up <laughs> just kind of plugging away at this thing show you where we're at right now so I got the whole front subframe cradle section tacked in there and then these are the motor mounts I ended up having to do the removable section of the motor mount super long because this motor is super tight in here the intake the stock 5.3 intake is just super tall 
I did end up telling the customer that he needs to get an F-body style oil pan just because the stock 5.3 oil pan is like seven, seven something inches tall where this one is like five and this one's like five and a half, so quite a bit shorter. This chassis layout is definitely something a lot different than I'm used to. I'm used to doing stuff like this that's actual like, I have frame rails, I like to call these frame rails, to mount the motor to rather than the boat side belly. And then you have to do like a cradle up to the front or like add frame rails in there and everything. So it's a little bit different of a setup, but the customer likes this, uh, this style so that's what we're building for him and there this customer had a poly bushing little mount that's bolted to the bottom of the transfer case that he already had on there from his old car so I'm just using the existing mount and then I just made a little bracket going off this tube I had to do this tube far enough over that you can still get to the oil drain plug on the transmission pan so it's kind of a long bracket and that's why i'm going to go ahead and pull the motor back out and then weld weld the motor mount weld the trans mount and then uh, should be good to get this thing off to him all right so we got this chassis all finished up it's all welded motors back out and everything and uh, the customer's coming to pick this up this morning so got it all on dollies for him and everything and Ready to get this thing out of here. So it's been a little while since I've talked about the CJ. Um, we've been trying to kind of figure out what we're doing. So the customer ended up deciding he's gonna go in a different direction and he's not gonna go through with building this thing. So basically where we're at right now is he's gonna try to sell the tub, um, all the old parts, like the axles, drivetrain, all that kind of stuff was parts off of my old buggy that he was gonna buy. So uh, really all he's into this thing is the tub, um, all the moto built stuff and then where we got to on the frame rails and stuff. So he decided he's gonna sell the tub. So if anybody's interested in doing this build um, and wants the tub, shoot me a message and we'll talk about what he wants for the tub and all that. It's gonna be a super cool car. This, this project has a lot of potential. It's just, you know, things happen that's the kind of thing as a builder I've got to not get attached to what I'm building and and uh, you know things happen in people's lives so but on that note with all of that being said um, I have had a lot of people message me saying that they are super interested in this build and seeing it get done and and all that we're gonna do so um, I know there's a lot of people out there interested in doing something like this like a tube chassis buggy Jeep thing so um, it's definitely my plan to do one of these. I just need to come across the right person to let me do it. So um, we will do something like this again in the future. And until then, we're gonna keep building cool buggies. And uh, I know this is kind of a short video, but a lot of time lapse, um, not really a whole lot to show when we're just assembling a chassis, but I've got the FJ almost all torn apart. So we're gonna get to doing that chassis and then doing that whole build. So, um, so we've got a lot of good videos coming up, hopefully. So, so don't forget to keep it classy and I'll catch you guys next week. Mm -hmm.